it, it demonstrates really how out of touch they are with their core audience. Uh, anything more, more designed to upset the core BBC fans, the people who love the proms, uh, than coming up with this ridiculous idea of not singing the lyrics to Rule Britannia uh, is just beggar's belief. It's just idiotic, really, uh, for dropping, dropping the lyrics. It's, it's just too woke to be believable, frankly. Uh, and it's classic BBC talking to itself and not understanding uh, uh, the public mood and, and public attitudes. Uh, and we need a, a, a long and healthy debate about what is a vision for the BBC, for public service broadcasting. Do we need it in the current media scene? with all that's going on. If we do, what is it we need from the BBC and how should we pay for it? It's a big, big debate and the BBC should be leading that debate, which of course they're not. They're trying to hang on to what they've got and looking for an ever increasing license fee. I don't think that will wash going forward. Uh, the government will approve the chairman, not the director general, but they will approve the appointment of the chairman. Uh, what we want to see uh, is somebody, I think with some editorial uh, experience, uh, and somebody who will not be captured by the uh, status quo merchants at the BBC. All great institutions spend their lives trying to defend the turf that they own. Uh, it's time for the BBC uh, to have a serious look at itself in, in the new digital world. And the chairman must be, the chairman or chairwoman must lead that and must be qualified to lead that.